water that sits between the island of Fune, where we live, and the island of Jaland, which is where Copenhagen is. And we, Fune is a large island that sits between Jaland and the uh, peninsula of Denmark called Uland. And right now, like I said, we're, on, we're in the northern part of Fune. top of the mound. As you can see, it's just a gorgeous day. Mozzie likes it. It's nice up here. Did you come up here, Claude? wonder what they are. No, I don't know no, if that's no. lavender or... No, Mozzie. Mozzie's had a bad habit lately when we take him for walks. He uh, literally does his business and spins around and gets it on his feet. We've been calling him Sharknado lately because he's spinning around in circles. He's just not, not smart, not a smart dog. But he is kind of cute. We adopted Mozzie uh, after Daisy died, our other dog we brought with us from the U.S. to Denmark and um, got Mozzie probably sooner than I would have liked to have. I, I didn't want to get the dog, but I do love him. He's awesome. He was a rescue animal that actually came from the island of Crete. Crete has tons of pets that don't have homes. Anyway, it's kind of a side note. It's irrelevant to what we're doing here. All right, I'm going in. Where's Clara? Where, Clara? You inside? What? Oh, you have to film it again? Sorry. Oh, jeez. You're a natural born hiker, huh, Yetta? Jeez. You think we're on Everest? Clara, you don't need a camera? I mean, a light? Or are you using the flash? I'm gonna use lights, actually. Guys, sorry about this mess of a video I'm putting together here, but as you can see, I'm gonna go in. I do have a headlamp on. I'm gonna put the headlamp on before I go in. If I can. It's not a very stable spot. Put this camera down just for a second. Here we go. All right. Put all the lights on. Don't think I'll need these. Stayed up all night last night playing video games till past four. I'm a little haggard today, to be honest. All right. Hey, you don't want this lamp? All right, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. All right, I'm going in, guys. Here we go. Going in the scary hole. Oh, I'm kind of a big guy. I'm six foot five. I don't know what that is in meters. Oh, and this is a narrow way here. Oh, oh. Ah. damn, I'm old. Not made for crawling to begin with. Okay. All right. Can't see much in here. So anyway, that's the hole that I just crawled in. Now I'm in this scary cave-like chamber. Uh, it's like the Blair Witch. It's worse. So I'll come down to the edge here and you can see this is one end here. Looks like people have been in here and put some candles in. I'm going to leave this lamp here on the ground and see what kind of effect that does if it lights up the end if I'm down here. No, that doesn't really do much. I'm going to use the flash on my camera, I mean my uh, phone. Oh, 
I found a spot I can stand straight up. Okay, I can turn this light off. I don't know if you can see. Ah, oh, I found my flash. My daughter's using, making her video too. Hey, baby girl. She came in. Okay, so found a spot I could stand up. And uh, I turn this off. I hope I have. Yeah, it's off so you can see. Anyway, I found a spot here where it's tall enough for me to stand sort of in a crevice here. I hope that this is giving you an idea. It is very damp, huh? Yeah. I just scratched my back on the way in from all sides. So this is from 5,000 years ago. Yeah. And you can see the stones are very damp. It's extremely humid in here. It's like a cave. And so there are these ginormous stones that are put in as the sides go all the way around. And again, I'm on one end of the the chamber is sort of T-shaped once you come in. Tees off perfectly. And it's uh, 10 meters wide, which means from one end where I'm pointing at.